morning one. I'm off to my first of three one-on-one -on -one workshops. Uh, don't mind my wet bowl cut. We're gonna do some cool stuff in Discovery Park here in Seattle uh, with some fire and some rocks flying around on the beach uh, and some levitation stuff, so it should be pretty cool. Day two, uh, I'm heading out to the Olympic Peninsula today for the next four days of driving around and just being in nature by myself and hopefully making a lot of work. I've been driving most of the uh, east side of the Olympic Peninsula today and so far I haven't really had any luck at most of the places that I've been stopping. They're like close for the season or uh, just like inaccessible. There's bugs flying around. But I just saw this spot that looks kind of cool just off the side of the road so I parked and uh, I'm just gonna walk around and see if I can find anything cool to take pictures of. I managed to dig up a selfie stick from about a million years ago before I went on my trip. When's the last time you guys have seen one of these? Anyway, so I'm walking down this path now. Uh, it looks like there's a cool bridge over here, so I don't know, let's check it out. So it's day two of my road trip, uh, if I'm counting right. I stayed in a little town called Port Angeles. Uh, it's the biggest town here, um, like on the peninsula, but I think the population is something like 20,000, so it's super tiny. Uh, that's where I'm waking up this morning. I grabbed a Subway sandwich for checking around um, and a little case of Red Bull to get me through the day because I'm pretty tired. But I feel like talking to the camera like this like helps wake me up. It uh, makes me feel like I'm like on this trip with someone. So uh, thanks for coming along. I'm getting like super stoked now because this is kind of the halfway point in the peninsula and everything beyond this point is all of the stuff that I've been wanting to do. Uh, it's gonna be like the forest and the beaches and everything. So that's what I'm gonna go and do today. And uh, let's see what we get into. Been pretty lucky so far with the rain, but it uh, seems like we're getting it now. I don't know who I thought I was showing up to the wettest place in the U.S. without a umbrella. <laughs> I don't even think this raincoat that I brought, it's even water repellent. So I'm gonna have to bust out my ponchos. <laughs> As it is, I don't really want to get my camera out because it's a little too wet for me, uh, but it's really pretty. I just rolled up 
to my next stop, which is these waterfalls that I'm checking out. And it literally just started snowing. And it's like 32 degrees. So not only am I already completely drenched, but now it's snowing and freezing cold. <laughs> out toward Forks now which is going to be my uh, last stop of the day and I saw this cool like logging area with all these cut down trees on the side of the road so I uh, jumped out of my car and I took a few self portraits. I shot in front of this big uh, wood pile kind of thing. Uh, I didn't record it because I was butt naked. I'm also kind of in stealth mode because I don't know if this is private property, but it probably is. And uh, so it's just a lot to juggle looking over my shoulder every two seconds to make sure that a logging truck isn't going to roll up while I'm uh, butt ass naked laying there in the twigs. <laughs> anyway, back on the road now. Um, I'm hoping to get to the beach by sunset and then stay the night in Forks before I move on to the rainforest tomorrow. So catch you there. Alright, so next morning uh, I got up bright and early and drove out here before the sunrise to the Ho uh, Rainforest. And this has been my number one thing that I've been wanting to do this whole trip, uh, that I've been wanting to do for like the last 10 years. So I'm super excited for today. Uh, this is supposed to be like the rainiest place in the uh, continental US. And so it created this beautiful moss forest. Everything's like every inch is covered in moss here. So I think I'll have like a really good shot at getting a lot of cool pictures today. Uh, so the, like the whole drive in here for the whole 20 miles, I just had my Spotify playing random music and there was like a 12 minute song playing that was just so atmospheric and perfect for the surroundings. And I wasn't even paying attention until I just parked and I saw what it was. And I don't think it could be any more perfect. Himalayan singing bowls in the Ho Rainforest. And that was like completely by accident. So I don't know what's going on today, but I'm feeling some good vibes here. So uh, <laughs> I think it's going to be a good day. <laughs> seconds in and I already want to cry. It's so beautiful. Without exaggeration, I got another 10 steps before I had to stop and shoot again. It's just literally perfection. I set up my camera here. I'm going to shoot with my intervalometer so I can work kind of quickly. It's also freezing cold still, but totally worth it probably made it like less than a quarter of a mile in and I've already stopped and taken like five different photos. I just climbed into this. Six hours later, and I'm finally back from my hike. 
and wow, that is one of the most incredible places I have ever been. So stunningly beautiful. I didn't end up taking a ton of video there because I was just shooting nonstop from pretty much when I got here. And I'm so glad that I got here around sunrise when I was the only person here because now the parking lot is like completely full. So I wouldn't have been able to make all of the pictures that I did if I hadn't gotten here that early. So thumbs up for a five o'clock start. The plan for the rest of this day is just to kind of chill out. Um, I'm gonna drive over to the coast and kind of finish up everything else on the Olympic National Park uh, list. There are just a couple beaches yet that I wanted to see. So I'm gonna knock those out and get on my way. All right, so I'm heading down to Portland today um, and I woke up early this morning and I don't ha really have much to do until I check into my hotel later. So I kind of just mapped a random lake and I'm gonna take a few self portraits here, uh, see how they turn out. I've had to sit in my car and wait for these fishermen to launch their boat for like half an hour now. So they're out in the water. I don't think anyone is gonna come upon me, so. I'm gonna take this opportunity to take a couple pictures and film it because I haven't really been filming a ton of the photo shoots that I've been doing. So I thought this would be a good one to try to do. So let's do it. First attempt, it wasn't as deep as I thought it was. So I'm gonna switch lenses from my 50 to my 85 and I'm gonna have to go out a little bit further and the water's really icy. Ah! Okay, wow, shocked by how smoothly that went. <laughs> my shoots are never easy and they're never comfortable, so if the only thing that I can complain about this morning is some frozen toes, I think that is a success. Coming off the high of uh, one successful photo shoot, I thought I would stop at another lake that seemed to be on the way to Portland. <laughs> Come to find out the map took me down this dirt road for half an hour uh, that just dead ends and it doesn't connect to the lake anywhere. But I uh, was about to be really annoyed for having wasted my time and going an hour out of my way. Um, I just had to reverse my car for like three miles down this dirt road because there was nowhere to turn around. Um, but I backed into this spot to turn around and I noticed a road that seems to be leading down so i followed it down and it actually goes right down to the lake and it seems to be like a little local spot which is even better um because nobody else is here it's just a tiny little beach so i think i'll be able to do a little shoot there and not have to worry about anyone like coming up on me or seeing me never mind i have some nosy fishermen they're a lot closer than it looks wrapped up uh, shooting here by wading waist deep into this lake <sighs> to give you some perspective there's some snow still in the mountains behind me that's how cold it is it's like 40 degrees 
the air temperature, so I don't even know what the water would be, but I'm literally shivering. All right, that's it for today. See ya. Good morning. Um, I'm here in Portland, Oregon this morning. I uh, am teaching my second workshop of the trip today. And as you can see, it is a rare, bright and sunny day here in the Pacific Northwest, which should be a little challenging in terms of light because I never really shoot in uh, direct sunlight, much less at noon. So uh, I kind of retooled a few of the concepts that we're gonna be doing today to work around that. So it should still go pretty smoothly. It's probably gonna be another cold day, even despite the sun, because I can't resist getting in any kind of body of water that I see. So uh, it should be another cold day, but a fun one. So let's see how it goes. Last morning of the trip, um, I'm in Tacoma this morning at a park uh, doing one last workshop before I head out tonight. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but I got pretty sunburned yesterday. Um, I kind of <clears throat> underestimated that sunny day in Portland. So I'm a little red today, uh, but I think it's gonna be a good day. Just gonna finish up this last workshop and then be back on the road home to LA. my trip with a little photo shoot in the cherry blossoms here at the botanical gardens in seattle before i fly back to la and i take this horrible sunburn with me thanks so much for watching uh i hope that you enjoyed coming on this little trip with me it felt kind of like i had some friends along because i was filming it the whole time and talking to my phone uh so i hope that you had a good time watching and i will catch you in the next one Ha, ha, ha.